since um, they made Casino Royale and Dan Daniel's entrance into the character of Bond. Uh, I mean, since then, I think there's that, particularly that film, that seemed to carry, particularly his interpretation, uh, to, to my sense of Bond, something I closer to that kind of the ruthlessness of Bond. There's a, there's a, there's a hardness there in the Fleming, I think. Mallory would argue that for all M's brilliance and toughness, she uh, she's allowed some vital information which she shouldn't actually have had on any record at all to be stolen. So uh, he's giving her a chance to redeem herself, but he does it by um, needling her uh, to, as it were, to get her anger up in order to to move forward, to, in order for her to reclaim her her territory, if you like. The scenes with Judy should have real tension, and uh, she is extraordinary as Em. She has this, she has this flinty, hard look that can come into her eye, which is <laughs> quite formidable. I was completely blown away by the detail of every single document and all the desks, being full of, being as you opened it there, be, mostly be full of real information about um, intelligence or something. So. Uh, no, the, the sets, uh, the, what I've seen is fantastic, fantastic sets. Well, first of all, Sam Mendes, who's directing it, I, I admire Sam's work and I've worked with him years ago and, and was very was thrilled to be asked to work with him on this. And the screenplay by John Logan I thought was excellent and better than any. In, as, I, as I read it and imagined the film, it seemed to be of a, of a, of a caliber or complexity that I don't think I've seen in a Bond film before quite does it um, and I'm I admire Dan's performance in the role very much and uh, so the whole uh, yeah the, but I mean in the end it was a screenplay and the part of Mallory uh, um, you know, a steely civil servant there to oversee the running of MI6 um, that had an appeal